take a look at the BQ Surf. So, let's look a little bit quickly around the box. It's not a very expensive phone. I think it cost about 60 bucks. It's supposed to have a 6.53 screen. That's pretty big. It's only a 3G phone, 300 milliamp battery. GPS, GLONASS, that's nice. Fingerprint, cool. <clears throat> this is a new company and they're trying to make really affordable phones but they're supposed to be decent quality too so we're going to check it out so let's take a look this is the first review in english everything else is in russian so this is bq it's a russian phone company well it started in spain but now it's owned by russia So, 8 megapixel camera, only 3G, but GLONASS, GPS, Android 10, fingerprint, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of memory, it's quad core, it's not bad specs for the money, and I think they're trying to make a good offering here uh, of a phone that is kind of reasonable for people but yet not too expensive okay I'm piercing the tape I've never seen one sealed up like that before that's kind of nice so it means that it's brand new there we are this is pretty nice presentation actually um, okay so here's the BQ surf Wow, I'm excited. It's pretty nice. Nice little bag. Nice presentation. Wow, look at that. That's pretty pretty nice. Okay, it looks pretty good, right? Wow, look at that. It's, it's actually pretty darn nice. Yeah, it's plastic, but it feels nice. I can't complain about that. Okay. Look at that. It's pretty nice. Okay, that's the device. Reasonably heavy. Not too heavy, but you know, it feels like it's made pretty well. Um, let's finish the box. Okay, just, that's pretty nice. You know, it's, it's simple, but effective. Ah, here's the battery. So the battery is separate, which is why the weight on the phone is down. 300 milliamp, it's not too bad, big, big sucker, made by them, hmm, that's got Russian on there, uh, big, nice, wow, that's pretty professionally looking, I'm telling you what, that's the most professional looking um, <laughs> book I've seen in a while, okay, it's uh looks like it's a is it proprietary it may be proprietary nice little brick i think that they're they're going for um you know trying to actually produce a good product here it looks like here we go okay it's really on there yeah it's made by their company so that's pretty nice i must admit that's not a bad thing uh, again, it's written in Russian, so I'm curious now, is, 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 uh, is it actually a Russian phone? That's a nice cable. Okay. Uh, it's not a C, but, you know, can't have everything, can we? I don't know, is C better? I think C is a better connection, plus it's more modern. I'm going to find out if this is actually a Russian phone. Uh, so let me do that. I'll, be, I'll come right back to you. 
we have to put this all together. All right, guys. So this is actually a phone aimed towards the Russian market. So now, obviously, it's made in Hong Kong. But this is, I think, being released exclusively in Russia. I'm not sure if you can get it anywhere else. So let's take a look. Now, how do you get the hell into this thing? To put this battery in there? Well, that is a good question, isn't it? Okay, it took me uh, some time to figure it out, but I do know now what to do. If you look really, really close, there is a little area right here. You, you're going to miss it, you know, but it's this little area. And I think, <laughs> good Lord, I don't know what they're going to make this design better. I do not understand. I mean, this is the type of tool to use. What the heck else could we use? A screwdriver. No, I can't get any purchase here. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. Okay, so you kind of push down against the case. Push down against this case. Okay. So, there it is. It's coming apart. Okay, beautiful. Okay, it's not so bad. I just didn't know how to do it. So you're going to push down against the main part of the phone. All right. Let's put this in. Nice. Very, that feels very cheap. Cheap plastic bag. It even feels worse than the, uh, <laughs> the uh, Huawei P50 Pro clone. Okay, so we're back together. Man, it is a fingerprint magnet. I'll tell you what, that thing is really making some fingerprints. God, I can't deal with all those fingerprints. I hate it. Okay, BQ, Android, Go Edition. Okay, not bad. Let's see what it looks like. Hmm. Boot time. Boot time, boot time. Wow, it's a long boot time. Might as well go do something else <laughs> while I'm waiting for that to boot. Jeez. Okay, BQ. They made a little, little, uh, little uh, graphic there. Now more booting. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That's slow. That's pretty slow. Is it? Is it still? What's it doing? Is it broken? <laughs> Jeez, come on! Wow, that's forever. I can't believe it. We're we're frozen. I don't know. Don't know what's going on. Still hanging. That's in a nice place. Still hanging. I don't get it. It looked like it was going to start and then it broke. Well, <laughs> in that case, maybe it's not good. I'm going to have to pull the battery out of this. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Okay. It came back finally. So that's nice. This is, so it's a startup page. So it finally did work. Let's do English. Uh, we're going to do, what the hell, Australian. <laughs> Fine. All right, start. Hello. 
Okay, connect to mobile network. Um, select uh, connect to Wi-Fi network. Yeah, we want to set it up. So, well, you know, it's not a welcome device. It's got actually a different set of Android in here because look, copy app and data. That's nice, right? So I'm going to say don't copy. Nice. I'm pretty pretty pleased that it's a it's an actually a real phone here. Huh. So I think it cost me about 60 bucks. It's not bad. Okay, we'll do that later. Uh skip account setup. Skip and I'll do that later. Um, Google services, more. Except they really want me to do that, don't they? <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'm going to skip the screen unlock. Set up, uh, skip, set up, and protect your phone. Skip, skip for now. Hmm. Okay, here's the... You know, it sounds exactly like a welcome device. <laughs> it sure does. What is this? Enter your birthday and gender. Why? Boy, I'll tell you what. Um. Activate. Okay, finish. Nice. There we go. Let's see if we can get some more brightness out of it. Actually, that's a pretty nice looking little screen. What do you think? It's weird. What? What is this? Yeah, it's all in Russian. Um, Wink, maps. What the frick? So this is definitely a phone marketed towards Russia, even though I turned it to read in English. Yandex is uh, installed right away. So this is definitely a phone marketed towards Russia. There's Yandex, which I'm not going to set up now. All right, guys. So I've done all the testing on this phone. Let's get ready and take a look at what it's like. So we're going to be using the... Here, I'm going to shut this. Well, let me show you the devices. So what we have, this is the Russian phone the BQ Surf, it's the first offering here of they're trying to make a serious cell phone here in Russia. Um, this is a clone, it's a Highway P50 Pro clone, Android phone, and I'm going to use it to compare a little bit because there's some similarities and interesting stuff. And what we have here is um, the phone quality star and this is the elements that I'm going to be using to compare and see what is good so uh, all right just checking to see if we're recording yeah we're looking good all right so let's start at the top we'll do screen first so screen um, actually of course any flagship phone the screen is going to be better this is a an AMOLED screen and quite good. These are LCD screens. Um, this is the biggest phone I have as far as screen size. So it's like a 7.3 uh, aspect ratio, 7.3. So it's pretty damn big. Uh, it's bigger than anything I have. Uh, I think the screen color of this is a little bit better. The uh, um, the clone phone, the screen color is a little bit better. However, I did notice something just now. If you take your vision away from the center, this one is doing that no problem. This one is only viewed, able to be viewed, probably something to do with the glass. It's only able to be viewed from directly on. Any flagship phone, yeah, you should be able to view from all angles, which you can on this, of course. Uh, let's see if I can show you that. Um, so 
Here, if I tilt, I don't know if that's going to come out, but we'll check. You can't see the screen, and this one, the screen you can you can tilt and you can see it. Now, what I mean by better, uh, hmm, I don't, I don't know. You know, this is bigger, and one thing about the screen in this case is the activity. So when you press on something, it doesn't do something untoward. You know, it 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 tends to track pretty well your fingers. Um, I will say that, of course, a flagship is better. A flagship device is better, but this is this is that. So the screen in this, what would I say? Is it good? It's okay. It, it's uh, you know, it, it's bright enough, pretty much, right? It's bright enough, and it uh, it looks relatively okay. It is smaller, and there's lots of bezels. So smaller and lots of bezels. So that's screen uh, on this phone. So what other things do we want to do? We want to do gaming. Well, one thing that I came up with right off the bat with this phone is I tried to load different things, and I was having a hell of a hard time. It just really wasn't loading up certain apps. So right away, that makes this phone not, not something you can use. It really isn't something you can use. So uh, what are we looking at here that it won't load? It won't load, uh, it won't load Skype. <laughs> it won't load Skype. Um, it won't load some games. It won't load a checking app that checks the phone. Um, there's a checking app that one of my subscribers told me to use and it's the best. So if you guys are doing anything like this, um, you know, reviewing or checking phones, you want this fake, fake device app. That's the one you want, the fake device app, fake device test. And it, it really does work. It absolutely, it absolutely works. This phone is not allowing it to load. And I've tried all kinds of things to get it to load and it just doesn't work. So, um, you know, you could check out any phone device with that fake device app and it will be something good to try. Uh, okay, so, in, as far as games go, will it play? Well, phone quality star, so we're going to be looking at gaming, but let's look at work. It's very limited for work because you can't load certain apps, so hey. Uh, however, I will cover speech to text now because it's here. It's pretty much a standard Android uh, load on here with some bloatware, but a pretty much a standard Android load. And therefore, speech to text works very nicely. There's no overlay messing it up or trying to rethink about what you're saying, and it works very nicely. So that's good. But as far as other things for work, you can't use this phone yet. So. It's, it's not available for that. All right, let's just jump into a game real quick just to show you. Uh, I'll turn it up a little. All right. Um, let's show you if it works. Okay, I didn't say to do that. Okay. All right. That's very, very annoying. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Let's go here. <laughs> All right. Speaker is loud in this. That's one thing. The speaker is loud. It's pretty pretty loud. It's 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 better than most and it is a little bit more bassy than this clone device. So it's a little bit more bassy than the uh Okay, so here we go. Is it going to work? Sure. I mean, there's no lag. The frame rate is up. It's no real big problem. And I don't need to show you a lot of this, but yeah, of course you can play this game or other games like it. Uh, and this is a pretty high-end game. It's pretty demanding of the phone. So, uh, okay, so we got enough of that. You understand. I'll shoot my weapons just so you, <laughs> you can see that. They're way over there, aren't they? Um, okay, maybe I can get one little... Yeah, rockets. Good. Okay, so um, okay, clear. 
But this is a Russian phone. And I'm going to say right now, I'm just going to, you know, cut to the chase here. It's not a phone yet. It's not good enough yet. Uh, it, it's something. And they're trying. And I'm glad to see that they're trying. Uh, because, you know, it's hitting some of these points. It is hitting some of these points. The screen's okay. Hmm. Uh, gaming. Okay. Gaming's okay. Uh, video and camera, not great, not good at all, really. They need to improve that. Uh, and as far as why we're talking about that, while this is loading, let's look over here real quick. I'll go ahead and turn this on. Only one camera back here is real. They actually did two fake cameras, very much like a clone device. It's crazy, but it's true. Um, for comparison, I mean, only clones do that. Gaming. It runs games. High-level games. And the graphics look pretty good. And it doesn't have screen uh, uh, video lag. So, that's a win. Screen quality. Not too bad. I like the sensitivity in the Huawei P50 Pro, Pro, Pro clone better. But, not too bad. And also, you can view the screen from off-center. So, the screen's pretty good. Work. Not good. Because you can't download certain apps, it's just not going to be good. Let's do that so that you understand what I'm saying. So here we go into Google Play. Everything's already set up in here. And we'll just try to download something. Let's try to download Skype. Okay, it's just not going to work. So just so you know, <laughs> certain apps don't work. Uh, even apps I tried to use to check the actual specifications of the phone, I couldn't get them to load. So, uh, okay. Video and camera. I'm going to clip in some camera shots here for you and some video. It's terrible. Eh, she's not kidding. It's pretty gray. So this is actually taken on this phone, this device. Um, you can't adjust the light. So actually the phone is brightening the image a little bit. There's no image stabilization at all. I'm going to open the window and put you outside. Let's see. I'm holding it really still, but you can see that if I move any little bit at all, it's going to do that. So this is actually taken on the on this device. You have to hold it very still. It's about on the par as the P50 Pro clone. It's not acceptable for a phone that Russia is trying to sell as a smartphone device that the country makes. I'm glad to see that they're making this Russian device because if they continue to stay at it, eventually they'll have something decent. But right now, the camera needs to be upgraded. That's just clear. So here's your P50 Pro clone. If you watch the video on that, the cameras on this are about the same as what's on here. Okay, so this is not good and neither is that. It's just going to sit there and do that all the time. Uh, and if we try to lo load up something else like a fake um, device, fake device test, just not going to work. It's going to sit here and do this and never, never load. So certain things will not load. And I have space on the phone, so it's not that. Um, sound. Sounds pretty good. The sound is actually pretty good here on this Russian device. Uh, it, you can hear it. It's got a little bit more bass in it than the P50 Pro clone. And it's not terrible. Call quality. In general, the... Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, and you're you're very loud and I would say maybe a little bit high pitched more than normal, but go ahead and talk for them. The weather is really gray here. The weather is really gray here. Okay. Uh, I can hear just fine. So it does work, right? Okay. Right. It's it looks okay. I hear you very well. 
Durability, it is stable. Other than this weird bug, it's stable. It's it's not uh, asking me to reset it or it doesn't lock you know lock out or or freeze or anything like that. So, you know, it's got this weird bug with uploading certain apps um, and a lot of bloatware on here. But whatever. Speech to text does work. Title. We'll do speech to text while we're in this part. Hello, can you all hear me? Mm-hmm. Perfect. It, it hears everything you've got, so that's really good, really useful for your work. Uh, so speech to text is working well. Just gonna tell you about the call quality, one more piece. Um, it's only 3G network, as in everything. So even this Highway 50 Pro clone is only a 3G network. So, and I have one of my subscribers uh, did write me a message and say they bought uh, this phone and they couldn't get it to work in America. So uh, it's probably not made for the American market. And I told him to mess around with a SIM card. But in general, stay away from phones that are designed to be sold in Europe unless it says on there specifically the network is going to work for you. Because otherwise, it's just a device you can use with Wi-Fi. So let's do a sound test here. Do Oh, yeah. I, there's another problem. YouTube does not load on this. It's the craziest thing in the world. But you can't load YouTube either. Um, you can't update YouTube. It has a version of YouTube in here, but it does not update. So I just deleted it because what can you do? Uh -huh. uh, you have to actually go in through... Um, one of these, Chrome or Chrome Go, and it will then give you YouTube through the browser, which is okay, it works to a point, but you can see that it's not great. Uh, so, it's terrible. Okay, so the only one I could get to load <laughs> was uh, CPU check, and let's just see what that shows us. So for comparison, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run fake dev device on here just to kind of give us a comparison between the two things. Um, so what do we have is four cores. You can see the processing speed. Uh, and here, CPUs, uh, processor 0, processor 1, processor 2, processor 3. So it's exactly four cores, same thing as this. Memory, uh, total RAM, so 2, free RAM, 1. It's, it's very similar to a clone device, isn't it? It's very similar to a clone device. So uh, here we've got... Uh, Android operating system 10, no, 8. This has got 8 on it. Uh, the BQRU, BQRU, so it's Russia, BQ Russia, um, is got internal space 11, well, 12, let's call it 12, um, and free internal space. Huh, that's funny. Why is it reporting two different numbers? But anyway, you can see you have sort of enough space on here. It's very similar. They're almost like the same thing. But this is not a clone. They're, they're, they're promoting this phone as not a clone, as a real company making a phone called BQ. Um, let's talk about what BQ is. BQ started its life in Spain as an importer of certain devices like tablets and stuff. And then Russia bought it. And now Russia is producing these phones. So this is a Russian phone, 100% Russian phone. Uh, obviously, it's got internal parts that are made in other places, but it, it, it's a Russian phone. Um, version 10. So version 8, version 10. And what else? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, and battery, it's not very big. Uh, it's, it's a 4... 4004 milliamp hours is what it's reporting as. May, okay, so it's supposed to have an accelerometer in there, but that does not look like it. Well, it's doing something. It's, uh, 
No, it is it is functioning. This accelerometer is functioning. Uh, Wi-Fi supported, GPS supported, camera support. Oh, it's terrible though. Uh, USB not supported. Uh, I'm just running through here to see if there's anything interesting. And camera's terrible. Let's see what it says anyway. It's an 8 megapixel. 8 megapixel. That's your resolution. And then the front's a 2 megapixel. It's terrible though. Really, it's, it's bad. I would say, looking at both these devices, if I was going to buy one right now, I'd buy the clone. I mean, if I was going to buy an inexpensive phone, the clone's working better. Um, if going on these tests, if I was going to buy one, I'd buy the P50 Pro clone, which was about 100 bucks, And this one's uh, maybe right around that, maybe a little bit less money than that. And, um, but it's interesting because it's a Russian phone. And it's cool that they're making it because eventually they're going to be better. You know, they keep making them. And if they keep making them, they will become, it will become a useful device. Is it useful now? Nope. I mean, it's interesting as a novelty. But this is a more useful device. This is actually a more useful device. Um, so there you go. That's my review. One more thing I thought I should tell you guys. Take a look at this. I'm trying to upload onto Telegram the video forever. It's taking forever. So the upload speed, your connection speed through the Wi-Fi is not fast on this device.